Australia is a stunningly beautiful country. I'm standing on a small meteorite escarpment here. A meteor came a few million years ago, mind you, down in that direction, smashing into the earth here, and pushed up the escarpment where I'm standing, looking over this magnificent and beautiful terrain. Over my shoulder here is the uh, Cockburn Range. Like a lot of parts of Australia, it's very old. It's 1.8 billion years old, the rock. If you look closely though, there are two levels. Uplift caused before Gondwana land was created. The bottom uplift is a relatively new one, about 100 million years old. And the top uplift is about 200 million years old. Sunset in the Kimberley. This little river crossing is not one you want to stop at because uh, there are crocodiles in this river. Fire is a natural part of the Australian environment. This is a natural fire. Many trees and plant life in Australia have evolved that their seeds will only burst open with fire. So fire is not only normal, it's necessary for the reproduction of many species of plants and trees. The other thing that's interesting is during fires, uh, the kites, the, uh, the predatory birds, look for the worms and the lizards and things that are fleeing. And they've evolved to the point that they will even pick up a smouldering branch and carry it across the road to the other side to extend the fire. It's been seen that these birds are smart enough to figure out that you need to help the fire jump the road because if the fire gets bigger, there are more worms and more lizards. The Australian Bower Bird Tree much like its uh, African cousin, it can live to 800 or 1,000 years old. During the wet season, it absorbs a lot of water and expands with its corky interior. And then during the dry season, it'll shrink back as it uses that water, much like a camel's hump. And speaking of boab trees, some of them can be really, really big, like this one which, as you can see, is hollowed out on the inside because it was once used as a prison. Not a pretty place. Used both for indigenous and non-indigenous prisoners back in the late 1800s, early 1900s. Spread along this rock face here, just outside Wyndham, is, uh, or are a lot of examples of indigenous rock art and this is the sort of place where you find it in an overhang where the face is painted on by the ochre uh, would be protected from the weather and you can see this is a beautiful wall and along here are lots of examples of hand stencils and stick figures and things like this a lot of these paintings are old and mystical and tell a story I just don't know what it is Wow, these pictures, they, they represent their myths, their stories, their beliefs, the things they passed on. Every piece of this knowledge that's lost is lost to us all. When you, when you see stencils like this one, you know, the hand was placed, the ochre was sprayed over the top, that handprint represents the print of a real person. Who was he? or her? What did they do? What was their life about? What made them happy? What made them sad? All these things, all these different hand stencils, some old, some young, all represent people. People who once roamed this great place.
I'd like to be able to tell you what it's about, and I'd like to be able to tell you how old it is, but I can't. No matter how hard I've tried, I've not been able to get any information on this. And it brings me to a point that's slightly controversial. I believe it's very difficult to protect, preserve and love something you don't know about. And we need to preserve, protect and love in all the different indigenous cultures that exist in Australia. But there's a twin obligation that comes with that. There's an obligation for non-indigenous to learn. But there's also an obligation for indigenous to teach. Some do it better than others, both the non-indigenous and the indigenous. Some agree with me and some don't. And I suppose that is one of the many ongoing challenges between the Indigenous and non-Indigenous worlds in Australia is do we or don't we walk forward together as one? Thank you.